What's going on lads, Persistence is Key here and today we're getting into another episode of Learnt in a Week and this week we learned something I've been waiting to do for the last few weeks and that is dribbling. Now, my touch has been compared to that of an elephant and a trampoline, so I definitely do not have the best touch in the world. Now, this isn't solely focusing on like first touch and things like that. This is actually just dribbling, like kind of cone dribbling. But anyway, if you are new to this series, this is where I go through and do something continuously every day for the entire week and see how much I can improve in that week. Obviously, I am recording this after I've done it, so I actually do know how I go and I'm just gonna kind of commentate over the week events. And without any further ado, let's get into it and I hope you enjoy. If you guys are new around here, feel free to check out my other content. Um, also, I appreciate if you guys enjoy this, tell me down below and I love any type of feedback that you guys give. Anyway, let's get into it. So to start off with, I'm slow as hell. I'm not like off the mark, quick feet, any of that stuff I suck at. So I thought, all right, what's something that can help me speed my feet up? And I think of the sport that people need to have really quick feet for and that's boxing and they're always skipping so I thought, I don't know, give skipping a try. I hadn't really done it much before. Obviously I got got into it quite quickly. You can see each day, I won't show every day because that'll be too boring and the video will go on for 40 minutes and nobody wants to watch that. But you can see my skipping results there, trying to keep it nice and low, quick feet, all that good stuff. Yeah, so I'm happy with that improvement. Then going into the next thing, classic Ronaldinho drill. This one I have done quite a bit so I shouldn't be that bad at it but I do seem to get better. I've shown you three days here. Each drill I did in this entire episode, I did 20 reps each day for the seven days. So 140 repetitions of the thing total for each different drill. So that's quite a lot, quite jam packed in a few days. And which is why that you can see through the day comparison that each time I do a different one of these drills, I actually do kind of get better. You can see a bit of a pace improvement. But not only just a bit of pace improvement, you can also see a pretty hefty uh, improvement in like amount of touches, speed of the touches, all that stuff. Show some manners for a legend in the making, damn it. Harness power from the sun, I'm like a solar panel. Peaks and valleys, new Havana's insight from my nana. So onto the right foot now, my aim, my sole aim is to just see how many touches I could actually get on the ball in between the 10 cones and then also do it at obviously quite a quick speed. So as you can see in the first day, it took me like, I think it was 11 seconds to do, and I was doing two touches, like two touch inside, two touch outside between each cone. And then as you will see, gradually I get better, better. I start to understand that it's more about the standing foot and the movement of that foot. And I feel like the skipping really helped with that. As you can see in the clips now, the actual amount of touches is so many more I'm getting like three or four touches each inside and outside between the cone and then as on the last day I actually get like I think it's nine seconds I managed to get like 10 15 percent quicker with getting twice the amount of touches so to do that in a week that's unreal and I'm super happy with that but don't overdo it don't take shit for granted no I'm so thankful for these relationships that I planted help me build a bond with bridges paved with granite look I'm just on this transit moving, moving. And then onto the left foot, I actually saw a lot more improvement on the left foot just because I obviously don't specifically train on the left foot too as often as my right, it just naturally occurs. But again, likewise with the right foot, lots more touches, quicker time, all that good stuff. But you can't keep your copper, I said I'm the champ. Run through your camp, I hear the crowd, so I hear the chance. Some want me to win, some want me to lose Despite all the obstacles and bullshit I've been through Make no excuse, I got this power I cannot misuse Black Flash Gordon coming for the rescue I've saved you My God! How? By magic, of course Quickly, put this uniform on before the lizard men arrive to battle And again, likewise, this drill here I've also saw quite a quite a substantial improvement even though I've already felt I was really quite competent in it already. Uh, it's just inside right, outside left, inside left, outside right. Pretty simple drill. It doesn't take much to actually get used to it and start getting faster at it. Now there's only a second of improvement I think in this drill but one second improvement is better than no improvement at all. I'm pretty happy. Know what my style is, fair 
Roche. I said, Palm of Chalice. Right. Building up even before they call me Fresh New Balance. Oh. Send my vintage bars. If you know it, then you know some of the challenge. Out onto the next drill, and this was like the. This is like the football freestyler type kind of skill that they just kind of wait and then get ready to nutmeg someone. I'll show you here. It's like obviously I have no intention of you know, doing this in a match type thing, but just again, foot speed, dynamic movements of the feet, different things like that. Making sure I'm actually able to get around a defender quickly in a game if, if the opportunity ever comes around. Now I also did this with my left and right foot. I really struggled with my left foot. It was uncoordinated as hell but I managed to do it. By the end of it, I was just kind of do random combos, kind of look cool. Besides that, obviously not going to use it anywhere. But again, foot speed, all that matters. Now I've learned to never help you out. Cause I'm done cleaning up your mess. Found myself in my Then onto the second last drill here, we have the figure of eight cones. Again, simple drill, just practiced it, did 20 reps. Got a little bit better, I didn't notice any crazy changes in it, but obviously all together mixed in, I found a lot more improvement. And then the final drag back, drag back and across drill here. This is probably one of my most pulled off moves in a game like usually around the back of my leg or sometimes I drag back and then go to the outside as well. You can do either. This one just, again, keeps your foot on the ball, keeps it moving and focus on the speed of your feet, which is pretty much the aim of this week. And that's, that's it for the week here. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. I hope you guys enjoyed. I ended up getting through like, I don't know, five or 6,000 cones all up. It was some ridiculous number like that. Much better than doing nothing throughout the week. And obviously I saw quite a bit of improvement. You know, we're only gonna keep getting better. Um, if you guys enjoyed, feel free to subscribe or check out my other stuff. And if you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like. And that's pretty much it for the video. Persistence is key out and I'll see you in the next video.